Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make beautiful documents and notes on the Craft app for iPad. Craft is an amazing application, and you can absolutely create magnificent looking documents and notes. It's a great way to curate everything that you capture on the web, from text, videos, PDFs, and more, and you can put it all in one place. When you're all done making this beautiful modern document, you can share it out, you can export it in lots of different formats, or the coolest thing I think you can do is share it with a web link and folks can view your document in a web browser. It's really awesome. Now, I also want to mention that Craft has an education plan. So if you are a student or a teacher, you can get premium features for free. So you just register with your school email and you'll get access to all those premium features, which is really cool. But if you don't fit into one of those categories, I will supply a code to give you a lifetime 50% off. So that is also a really good deal. Make sure you use that code. So in this video, I'm going to give you a full walkthrough. We're going to talk about how to get started in the Craft app, how to organize your files and documents, how to add various elements to your documents, style those docs, share the documents out, and more. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this on my A16 iPad, and you can absolutely use Craft with a keyboard and trackpad, but it's just as good with the touch controls, and that's how I'm going to demonstrate today. You can actually access Craft in lots of different ways and on multiple devices, including Mac, PC, iPad, and your iPhone. The iPad is really awesome for craft because you can edit your documents mobily and on the go and you've got that Apple pencil that other platforms don't offer so you can jot some handwritten notes draw up sketches and more so grab your iPad and let's go through the craft app okay so let's just start with document and folder management so I'm just gonna open the craft app and you can see we have a left hand menu on the side and you can open and close this menu with this taskbar button. And so at the top you have new document which will jump you right into a new doc. But I like to use all docs so I can see all of my documents that I've created regardless of what folder they are in. So it's easy to access all your documents at once. And you can also view your documents in a few different ways. So over here we have the thumbnail view or you can look at your documents by calendar day of when you've created them or you can also view your documents in a list view. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go back to that thumbnail view. So let's say we wanna create a new folder to organize our documents. You can go down here to folders and click the three dots and select new folder. And I'm gonna give it a title. I'm gonna call this one history. And you can also give your folder an icon and there are lots of icons to choose from. I'm just gonna search for a book there's a book. I'll give it that icon and I'll even change the color of my folder so it stands out. I'm going to change it to blue. And now we have my created folder here, my history folder. And you can use the back button to go back to the view that you were previously in. And so let's say I want to add some documents to my history folder. I'm just going to select this Cold War project. You can just press and hold. And then there is a move to option. And I'm going to put it in my history folder. And so now if I click the history folder, you can see that document there. All right, so next, let's talk about creating a document, and then we'll dive into all the different features that you can do while you build your document. So I'm just going to select a folder. I'm going to select social studies. And if I want to make a new document, I'll just hit the plus button and new doc. And so the first thing we can do is give our document a title. And so I'll call this the American Civil War. Once you title your document, you can start typing away. And you can continue to type here, or I've actually grabbed some text from a website, and I'm just going to paste that text in here. So I'm just going to tap and select Paste. And so now I've got a summary of the Civil War. And you'll notice when you input text and you have some headers, Craft will automatically make a table of contents for you. And if you select the table of contents items, it will jump around to that text. I really love that. Now let's say we want to add an image to this document just to give it a little bit of a header and a little bit of color. I've actually found some images here on Google. I like this one here of these Civil War soldiers. So what's great about Craft is it is compatible with iPadOS 26 and the windowing features. And so if I want to, I can just shrink this window down and flick it to the side and then I'll open craft and I can also resize this window and you can also press and hold on the stoplight buttons and resize or move your windows so I'm gonna grab this image I'm just gonna press and hold and drag it over and I want it at the top so I'm gonna put it right there at the top now if you want to edit an image or interact with it you can press and hold 
and you'll get a menu here. So I wanna change the layout. So I'm just gonna grab that and I want it to fill this whole top like a banner. So I'm just gonna hit fill. And now we have an image. It's a nice little banner at the top and it helps the students understand what we're gonna talk about. And it just looks nice. I'll hit done and I'm gonna go back to full screen. All right, next, let's talk about some other elements that you can add to your document. If you wanna check out some other elements that you can add, you can hit this plus button and we can add sketches, whiteboards, cards, which I'll talk about in a minute. In this case, I'm going to add a task list. So task lists are great for students. They're great for when you're taking notes. So you can create checklists of things that you need to do or that your students need to do. So you can see here I've created a checklist for my students. They have some homework assignments. They need to complete the reading, watch a video below, and then let me know when they've completed the assignments. They can just check the items off and you can see the items are crossed off when they're done. Okay, next, let's talk about how to add a document. So you can add PDFs, Word docs, or pretty much any kind of document you'd like into Craft. And so if I wanna add a file, I could just pull up my files app and I've got a Civil War folder and I've got some essays that my students should read. So in iPadOS 26, I'll just shrink the window, flick it over, pull up Craft, resize it, and then I can just drag and drop this document into my Craft document. And now my students have the ability to access this document from craft. So we can press it and it opens. They can read it. So craft is a beautiful way to organize photos, text, documents, and even more. You can have it collected all in one space so people don't have to jump all over the internet or go digging through files. You can have it in one convenient spot for them. Okay, next, let's talk about entering a smart link. What's really cool about Craft is that you can add all kinds of links, including YouTube video links, which is really great as a teacher. So if I hit the plus button and I go to smart link, I can paste a URL into this text box. So let's say I found a really good video here about the American Civil War. I can grab this link, copy it, go back to craft, paste it. And craft will automatically embed that YouTube video into my craft document. It's really awesome and very convenient to compile all of your resources together in one space and craft does that beautifully. Okay, so now that I have a fleshed out document, you can take a look at the menu bar here on the left side and there are some options you can choose from. I've already shown you the table of contents, but you can also search for checklists that are in the document, which is really awesome. You can select by tapping and it'll bring you right to the item. You can also see attachments that are in this document document so you can see the photo I added you can see the video and you can see the word document that I added so it's very easy and quick to access the media that's been placed into the doc if you want to you can also search via text so there is a find option here and you have a text field and you can search the document and you can see it highlights the words that you type in so that's really handy for a student if you want to narrow down and find something specific in the document. Now, let's say I'm a student and I want to take some handwritten notes. What's great about the Craft app is that it is compatible with Apple Pencil. And so if these are my own notes, I can go down to the Insert button and I can select Sketch. And you can see that Craft has the Apple Pencil tools that are very familiar and are the same tools in the Notes app. So Craft has some options for your paper. You can choose blank, ruled, dots, grid, or you can change the color. So if I wanted ruled, I've got some lines now. If I want to change the color of the paper, I can do that as well. And I can start to take notes just like paper. And so it's great that you can capture handwritten notes inside of Craft. You don't have to go to another app. This app does it all. When you hit done, it'll save your notes. And if you ever want to come back to them, you can just press in and continue writing. And then you can save your changes when you're done. Now, you should understand that Craft is built on a block system. So each item that I've added is its own block. And you can press and hold on a block to style it, have other actions, react or comment to it, or even delete it. If you hit the plus button, there are all kinds of other features that you can add. So you can add in some basic text. Let's say I want to add in a subtitle and I want to call this assignment. I can add that in, but I can also restyle this block. I can press and hold and I can select style. I can change it to heading, body, can change the color and many other features. So it's very easy to add in text and other items. You have separators that you can add in. I'll just add in a regular separator here 
and you can pick that up and just drag and drop it where you want. So it's very easy to make a clean and organized document that's very much like a web page. There are so many other things I could cover about what you can add in. You can even add in formulas. There's a whiteboard function and many others. You can play around with this. Okay, next let's talk about adding cards to your document. So you can see here if we hit the plus button, we can add a card. And I like to think of a card as another craft document that you can add within this document. And you can select various styles to place this card, which is going to serve as a link to your new craft document. So let's do this one. I'm going to apply this style. And then I can select content, and it's actually going to go into my new craft doc. And so let's say I wanted to make another assignment. I'll call this assignment 2. And for the sake of it, I'm just going to paste that Civil War text in here again. Now, I can hit the back button, and now you can see my card. And my card has the title of this craft document. It has a little preview of what the student is going to see, and they can actually click into it and see the next craft document. It's really handy. Cards are a great way to style your document and send folks to other craft documents very quickly. Now, I also want to point out a really cool feature, which is the built-in AI, and you can access this by typing a slash. So if I type a slash, you can see that we have the assistant come up, as well as other shortcuts, but I'm going to tap assistant. And then you have full AI functionality, so you can type in anything you want. You can have Craft draft something for you, and it will draft it. And then you can just click Insert to automatically insert the text. It's very cool and very handy. So try out that slash command. One more feature that I want to point out is tabbed documents. So you can open multiple documents at once, and you don't have to use multiple windows to do so. So you can press and hold on a document and select Open a New Tab. And you can see all your tabs up here. And so I can go back to that test folder and open this document in a new tab. And so I can jump back and forth between my documents without leaving the Craft app. That's really nice. Now, you can also style your document. And you can do that with this paintbrush icon. And so you can select a backdrop. And there are various colors and forms you can choose from. You can even choose a gradient color if you want. Or there are styles you can choose from. And they have many templates that you can select from to make your document polished and give it a more professional look. In addition, you can select different text colors if you want. And there are also a few different font options you can select. Okay, let's talk about sharing your craft document. So there is a share button right here. You can select that. And there are a few different options for sharing. First, you can collaborate. And others that you share with to collaborate don't have to have a craft account. You can add emails to share this craft document with others, and they can access it via the web. You can also select if they are a viewer or editor, so you have control over what they can do to your document. You can also publish your document with a web link, and this is my favorite way to share. And Craft even provides you with a QR code so you can have others scan it. You can put this in a presentation or on the wall. This is very powerful for sharing your document. But if you share this link, and then you can copy the link, and so folks can access your document through the web. And so you can see it's a very clear and easily made web page here. People can see the media that you've added. They can watch the videos that you've linked. And they can make comments on the material. So you can see there's a comments button. But in the Craft app, you can turn that on or off. So you have lots of control over what you share, what people can do with the link, what people can do with comments, and so on. It's very powerful, and you get lots of customization options. You can even remove the link if you don't want people to see it anymore. In addition, you can export your document. You can export as PDF. You can print the document, export as a Word doc, and so on. Now, the Craft app also has a calendar section, and so you can use the calendar to take notes or add tasks. And so if I wanted to add a task list for tomorrow. So I can go to that and I can add tasks to remind myself of things I need to do. It's very simple and very easy to start organizing your day or your week or your month. So make sure you try out that calendar functionality. Okay, so that's my rundown on the Craft app. Let me know if you have questions about how to use this application. I absolutely love it. It's finally a modern take on document creation. Very handy and useful in today's age. Like I said, any questions, leave a comment below. I'll check those out. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.